Welcome to our financial KPIs. In this series, you will get deeper insights into what is behind the abbreviations used in our financial communication and what impact our activities in the segments European Generation, Global Commodities and International Power have on these indicators. Today, EBIT and EBITDA. EBIT and EBITDA are so-called key performance indicators for earnings. We use them to compare the developments of the result and manage our business activities. The basis for EBIT and EBITDA are our total earnings, which means earnings from the segments European Generation, Global Commodities and International Power, which are then compared with the costs. EBIT stands for Earnings Before Interest and Taxes. Therefore, it compares all earnings and costs, but does not take into account interest or taxes. This enables a comparison between companies and activities worldwide, as differing financing structures and tax regimes are left aside. In addition to interest and taxes, EBITDA does not consider depreciation, i.e. the wear and tear on our assets. This way, results of capital-intensive business areas, such as our power plants, can be better compared with areas such as energy services or trading, i.e. business areas that require fewer fixed assets. In our external communication, we also talk about adjusted EBIT and adjusted EBITDA. This implies the following. Some effects which impact our earnings do not result from our operations. These so-called non-operating effects include, for example, profits or losses from disposals of shareholdings or from the mark-to-market -market evaluation of hedging transactions, so-called derivatives. These effects are corrected from our earnings, so the earnings are adjusted. This is EBIT and EBITDA. The other parts of the series, our financial KPIs, explain further important indicators and abbreviations. Just have a look.